Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome to the road trip. Manchester United trip down to Stamford Bridge to face Chelsea. Matisse's Chelsea. Joey Knight's Chelsea. Oh, mate, honestly. This game, I, I, this game pisses me off. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm agitated today. I'm agitated today because Chelsea are crap. Like, they're so crap. But so are we. <laughs> like... Like we like when we played against them at home, like there's levels to the mud in it, there's levels to the crap, and I still stand by that. Like they're worse than us, but I still can't trust us to go to the bridge and show them that they're worse than us. Like at home, I believed it. I was like, they ain't coming Old Trafford and beating us, and we beat them up. It should have been more than the two one that we won back in I don't know when was that November. I can't even remember, right? Scott McTominay, yeah. But like I just saw them at home to Burnley, and I'm like they're awful. But then you look at us away to Brentford and we were shocking, shocking on the road. But I'd go as far to say as it's probably a harder game against Brentford with how bad Chelsea are. But Cole Palmer, you know, cutting in, drifting in, he can make things happen. He's the one, isn't it? He's the one. But it could be so Man United-like to just still have the blues from the Brentford game and not turn up. And that is why I just don't know what to expect. I don't know how to say this with chess. Now, I did to Matisse, of course, of course I did. And I... And I, and I and I'm going to back us for the win. But I'm like, can you really, can you really trust us to do it? Can you, re can you really put your hand on your heart and say, you know Man United are going to win this game? You can't. And even in recent seasons of going to uh, the bridge, you know, they haven't been great. They have not been. I mean, look at last year, same thing. We should have won that game too. Last minute Casemiro draw. Uh, the year before, uh, I can't remember what happened that time. Did we? Did they win with a penalty from Jorginho? I think they did. I want to say they won the year before that. Or maybe it was another draw. Nil-nil maybe. I don't know. It's always a dull game. And the mid-off this, this year, although like, they do have a point. I was talking to Joey Knight yesterday and it's like, if they beat us, they got a game in hand and then they're like only a, like three points behind or something like that, four points. Now, now listen, I don't want to get sucked into, you know, the Chelsea resurgence because they are awful. But with this Man United team, they've proven to me time and time again that we just don't know what they're going to be like. Good news is, is that at least we've got some centre-backs fit. Good news that Harry Maguire, Varane and uh, Johnny Evans have all been back in training. That means that, you know, Johnny Evans has been out the longest. It will probably be Varane and um, Maguire who start. If Varane can't last, which, you know, we do have to have one eye on the Liverpool game and, and manage Varane's load because uh, that's a massive game on Sunday. If you're thinking about that, then Johnny Evans might have to come in sort of, you know, later on in the game, etc. Because, you know, there's no Lindelof, there's no Martinez. Wan-Bissaka's got to carry on at left back. He needs to have a much better game, much better game than against Brentford. He was terrible. That's not just him, by the way. The whole team was. Dallow, of course, at right back. I need that energy from him. I want him up and down. Like, Chelsea are there for the taking. If we just play with a little bit of zip, if we just play with a little bit of belief and quality, it'll be enough to beat that bang average Chelsea team. But if we give them chances, if we if we play into their hands, if we turn up like we did against Brentford and we're not up for it, then Chelsea can beat us at Stamford Bridge. Of course they can. So that's what's annoying. Midfield's interesting. Um, you know, surely we'll go with Mainu again. But I don't know if he thinks that you know Sunday's another big game. But you know, you need Cobby in there. No one played well last game. Does so? Does he take out McTominay? You know, the goal threat. He has been terrible uh, in that Brentford game. Didn't do anything, but neither did anyone. Um, but last time he played against Chelsea, McTominay was very good. Um, and and does he bring back in Casemiro? Probably does. I think Cas I think he goes Casemiro, Mainu, Bruno. And we know what the front three is going to be with Rashford, Hoyland and Garnacho. Um, I'd be surprised if we see anything different. I mean, unless he looked at that Brentford game, which was it's, it's long enough from from Saturday to now for the players to recover. But unless he does want to freshen it up, and there is a Liverpool game, maybe he might give Garnacho a rest and put Anthony on the right. Or I think Ahmad should be back by now. And he had a one game ban for his for his uh, second yellow card against Liverpool. Maybe he could switch it up there or, you know, give Rashford a rest, put Ganacho on the left and maybe put Anton on the right. I don't know. I, I don't think he will, but you never know, Eric. He might have looked at that Brentford game and goes, there were so many off it. I need to make a few statements. Some, not all of them can start because we have got options at the top end of the pitch and in midfield, you know, even the Christian Eriksen. Amrabat, you know, I, don't, I can't see Amrabat coming in, but you just you just never know. So I, I just want us to just flip and go there and give a good account of ourselves because far too many times against Chelsea... We just keep flipping, mashing up the thing, and, and just being awful. And you know what? It's like, if we can get six points in the next two games, it will be massive. 
And again, I know we always do it, and oh, you always do this yourself, and it's that and the other. But the points are the points. If the points are on the board, it's a different story. And if we beat Chelsea and then beat Liverpool, all of a sudden, the confidence is there again. But then again, we know that, you know, it's only around the corner from not being there. And that's the problem with this team, isn't it? I almost don't want to do it to myself. And that's why I'm like, I, that's what, well, I went with a draw. I think I said, on the, I've changed. I think I said the full view would draw against Chelsea and typical May and I would turn up against, against Liverpool. But it is what it is, isn't it? I mean, I, I, I can't even commit to that, really. It could be tight. This, this, this could be a one-point week, guys. <laughs> this could be a one-point week. That Brentford one has really thrown us and... The only way we can sort of move past that in a positive way is to is to get a W tonight. And you wouldn't put you out on that. And that's that's the problem. Like, you know, the, the, the lack of intensity is scary in that Brentford game. The lack of technical ability is scary. When I look at the Chelsea team, I'm like, mate, Burnley, like, run up on them. Like, Chelsea won't play how Brentford play. They're not going to stack up with a back five. They're not going to have wing backs doubling up. They're not going to They're not going to be like that. They're at home. They got to be on the front foot. They need to win. If, and that's another thing. What we got playing like they are in worse confidence than us. They just got played off the park by Burnley at home. Two-two draw. It's against ten men, and have been terrible all season. And the, and the fan base there is very very split. It's divided, and there could be a lot of toxicity at Stamford Bridge. So I'm thinking, go there. Make sure we don't do anything stupid in the first 15, 20 minutes, half an hour. Grow into the game. Get the first goal. I think it's ours. If we get the first goal, I think we'll be fine. Because I just don't see Chelsea having the minerals to, to, to come back. But if we put it on them, I don't see why we can't win the game. We've got the ingredients. We've got more match winners than they have. It's just that our match winners have not been consistent. They've been absolutely, been absolutely awful. Just drop the keys. Um, they've been awful. So it's it's this game has got the potential to also be fucking nil-nil. 1-1. One, one. Absolute mid-off. It, it does have the potential to be that. And that's what worries me. That's what worries me about this game. But we're fans, and when it gets to match day, you must always believe. I do, I do believe that. And and there's just something about Matisse and his stupid face. I'm just like, nah. But you know what? Even if we beat them, can't. What what can we really say? What can we really say? You can't even like go in on Chelsea. Ah, hold that. You know, they're mid-table fodder. We should be beating them. But it's our own team that we can't trust. It's our own team. So I don't know. Smash the like on the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, I will be at UVHQ tonight uh, watching a game live with KG and others. Then Owen will be live. Well, Owen will be live a couple of hours before that. So tune into that, into the, all the pre-match build-up. And then, of course, the full-time view afterwards live as well, as, as well as reaction after the game. Please, Man United, please. I would be, I'll be over the moon if we beat Chelsea. It's been a long time coming. Can you just please turn up? Mason Mount, I forgot about him as well. Start him. Start him. Start him on the left. Start him on the left. Give Rashford a rest. Start him on the left. Get actually on the right. Start Mason Mount. Or, do you know what? Just, just why not? Just go Mount, Mount, Cobby, Bruno. Why not? It's not like Chelsea are wicked. Mount, Cobby, Bruno. Start Mount. Start Mount. I've decided. Start Mason Mount. Come on. See you then, guys. Peace.